start there with, with tonight's game. It was a you know, tough back-to-back um, and tough team for you guys to play against. Tell me a little bit about how tonight's game felt. <laughs> well, obviously, it's a good team being done, you know, and uh, obviously every team in the AHL is good and no matter what position. And they, they came out hard. They came out play and uh, uh, they were physical, uh, like usual Binghamton, you know, I guess uh, it's their system, you know, to be physical everywhere, all 60 minutes, uh, put pressure in, and, uh, you know, it was tough, back to back, especially, you know, two days and two games, but I think we could have we could have played better, especially like, you know, today, I mean, you know, we need the point, we need these points and I think we need to get better, we need to play all 60 minutes. Absolutely. So, up until tonight, for the last few weeks, you've been playing center on the yeah. first line. Yeah. First, let me ask you, have you ever played center before? Yeah, I played a couple games in junior, but not not really. Like, not, not, I didn't play center, like, basically I play a wing all my life. Sure. Like, so. so, did it come as a surprise to you when you got moved to center for a little while? No, I'll be honest, I'm not surprised. I'm, like, I'm not crazy surprised. I mean, I was kind of, what? Like, I came out in the locker room, I was like, what? And, I mean, I like I like play with the puck, so I, th- I, I, I think it's good, you know, good for me. And uh, especially, you know, the chairman playing with the puck more and uh, he's skating with the puck, so, and I like to move the puck around, so I, I like it so far. It was. It felt good for you. Yeah, obviously feel good. You know, it's more much harder. You know, you, ha- you have to skate more. Obviously, you have to play in a D, D zone. But I like to play with the puck, and you know, f- I like to move puck around. So it's nice. Twitter's going crazy though. They're saying, "What's going on? Is is Sherback being groomed for a center? <laughs> uh, so is this long term? Is this just a short term experiment? What do you think it is?" I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I mean, it's a coach's decision, right? So uh, my job is to go and uh, play. Uh, you know, every position, wing or uh, center, and just my job is gonna go and play hard. And obviously, you know, if I center, man, it's more respons- uh, responsibility, and uh, I have to take, I have to be consistent to play center. So I need to work uh, every day to get better in that tournament. Is that some? Is consistency something that they've told you that? They want? Yeah, obviously they want me to be consistent, right? So they will, they want me to 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 play all 60 minutes, no matter what situation is that, right? It's if it's. Uh, Six and five, right? They, they they want me to be on the ice, you know, and I need to get that trust, get that consistent, so I can be on the ice in every situation. How did it feel tonight being back on the wing? Uh, it's kind of feel not weird, but I mean it was different. There was a couple shifts. I was like just uh, after the, this two weeks, you know, like getting played center, and uh, it was it wasn't too bad. I mean, you know, it's it happens. You know, we have to be ready to play uh, in a wing and center because you know some guy, somebody getting injured, somebody getting into fight. You have to be ready all the time. So Absolutely. it's fine. How did how did you deal particularly this season with? kind of back-to-back injuries that put you out for a little while. How, how do you keep your head in the game and keep your confidence and your, and your motivation up? Well, that? it's tough. It's, all, it's obviously it's tough, especially, you know, the first year, right? right I want to I wanna show what I can do, you know, especially, again, first year. And, uh, you know, it was tough. It was a tough time, you know, but I was trying uh, I was trying just to uh, come to the ring every day, you know, and thinking about the uh, future. I mean, you know, it's just come out and be getting better every getting treatment every day you know and uh, I was just I was so sad when I didn't play you know and obviously it's tough time you know when you see the guys around in the locker room and you you kind of feel like you're not part of them but at the same time you are but you know it's tough but injury is always tough and uh, you, you have to work like double harder you know to, to get better and uh, to get back quick, quick as possible so it was a tough time, but I feel good right now, so it's, it's you fine. You feel 100%? You're totally recovered then? Yeah, I feel t- totally good, you know, that's why, that's why I'm playing, obviously, so... And I feel good about that, because uh, before I was just scary. I just got, sometimes I was just scary, you know, to go to the bottles, because I was like, I don't want to, you know, injure my ankle again. So now, now I feel better, totally, and I'm good. Good to go. And on top of that, um, you know, now that you've, you've been playing for quite a while again, now you're feeling good about your game this season and its development. Well, you know, I'll, I'm in my mind. I obviously, oh, I always want to get better. You know, I, uh, I'm not saying I'm play, I played good, I played bad. You know, I just try and get better. I try and take uh, lessons, you know, from the games, like from mistakes, you know, so next game I come out and playing harder, maybe some somewhere I'm playing, you know, smarter, maybe like more patient, so uh, I would say I like my I like my game after I came back from injury, you know, it's it's not too bad, but I, I obviously have to get better, you know, and help a team.
to do more stuff to win the games, especially now in this season, you know, it's tough games and you have to be prepared. So, so a little bit of a personal question. <laughs> you growing up as a hockey player, who, who was your, your favorite? Who was your idol? Who did you look up to? Uh, I would say Pavel Datsuk. I like Datsuk a lot. I like his hands, the way he's playing. But again, he's chairman. And uh, I like Kovalov a lot. Alex Kovalov he used to play in Montreal, you know. He was have good hands. And it's, I mean, it's a lot of good players right now, so it's hard to say, right? So I like, everyone have a favorite. But I think I watched uh, Datsuk when I was growing up. It was, it was my favorite player.